The wait's almost over. The Sydney Sevens officially launched today with the city's best view behind the world's best players. The Aussie girls set to tick off another first when they play their maiden World Series leg in Australia. To get to play on home soil is something that we've dreamt about for a long time, um, especially going to the Olympics. Um, to be able to get that gold medal over in Rio was amazing, but to come here and have the support of your family, your friends, um, and all of rugby, all of the sports, um, is amazing. And after going down to New Zealand in Dubai, the Trans-Tasman rivalry is well and truly alive. But Williams thinks her side will be better prepared this time around. That tournament was finding out what the team, other teams are doing and what they're about, but actually finding out who we were as players together in a team that you know was so, so successful in Rio, but now we've got you know injection of a couple of new girls coming in. So yeah, I think D Dubai was about finding about who we were, and now we know who we are. So it's time to go out in that field and play and represent Australia with pride. Meanwhile, the injury-ravaged men's squad finally have some good news. Captain Sam Myers cleared to play after picking up a shoulder injury in Wellington. It's an all clear from the doctor. I spoke to him last night and um, nothing more than a large cork in the shoulder. So no, it's all good. After playing here last year and getting the crowd and basically the whole city and the country around you, it's unreal experience. You never want to miss it. So you know, I'm really fortunate to be there. And with a second place finish in Sydney last year, the men are hoping the 2017 tournament will again kickstart their World Series campaign. You never want to um, go into a tournament, um, you know, expecting anything less than um, being in the final. But you know, last year was a momentum builder for us. You know, we went um, four um, uh, tournaments going into the top four, so I know it was good for us. So hopefully this year we can replicate that. The first ever combined men's and women's Sydney sevens kicks off on Friday.